fashion sewers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a vertical hemming stitch. I'm Colleen G Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got an example of a vertical hemming stitch. I started off really small and then I gradually got bigger. Now um, traditionally uh, a vertical hemming stitch is used in tailoring and it's to hold two thicknesses of fabrics together so it really does have to be as small as what I've done here. But if you're using it for fashion sewing and you wanted to hem up any of your garments then I would go for a much more wider and longer length of uh, thread. I'm using a single length of thread and it has a knot in the end. I'm going to start in the hemline about three to four millimeters down from the edge. Pull my needle up and then I'm going to create a vertical stitch. I'm going to take a couple of strands above the fold like so and then I'm going to position my needle diagonally to create the next stitch and just judge it by eye and pull that through there I have my vertical stitch. To create the next vertical stitch, a couple of strands, needles parallel to the edge, put your needle behind the hem, the fold, judge where you want it to go, just use your form as a guide, pull your needle up and there you have the other vertical. Again, a couple of strands, your needle is parallel to the edge, you're going to diagonally, you'll just position it into the fold, pull through and it's now ready for the next vertical stitch. Just referring back to my first example that I've just um, showed you, I'm going to now show you the right side. So this is the wrong side and how neat it looks and on the wrong side you shouldn't see any of my red thread coming through. You should just see slight pinpricks. I hope you found this video tutorial of help. I do recommend that fashion sewers practice their hand sewing techniques because it will help with your sewing projects. Do subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I do believe the subscription button is somewhere here for weekly fashion sewing tutorials. If you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.